So a lot of the time in this assembly is spent getting all of the parts to be mated to each other properly and then checking all of my dimensions. So what I like to do is on the shocks, I have those spherical bearings that are fixed in space in the upper assembly, and then I mate the shocks to them. So that's what you're seeing here is all of these little spherical bearings are going to be fixed in space. And then I will end up building the frame around those mounts. I'll build the upper, the front bulkhead around those location points. So just modifying the assembly configuration here on the shocks, making sure that I have everything set up the way that I need it to be to get it to mate properly and cycle properly. And I ended up organizing all of these front suspension parts into a folder because it makes it a lot easier to hide everything else in the assembly. So in SOLIDWORKS, that function is called isolate. So you can be in a really big assembly. Maybe it's kind of slow. You select the parts that you're working on and then you right click and go to isolate. And then you only see those and everything else is hidden. It, ma it makes the it makes the program run a lot faster and helps you to not get too lost in the sauce in the upper assembly. So those spherical bearings, luckily for me, are going to accept a one inch bolt. So I can use the exact same hardware that I use on the tall knuckle, which is nice. And for those I'm using grade eight stainless steel threaded, they're almost like threaded studs, but they're, they're hex bolts, but they're partially threaded. So now this is the, the challenging part, which is I have to figure out what, what kind of cuts I need to make in the lower control arm to mount the shocks. And so what I want is for those shocks to be mounted on the center line and to have these little cutouts and make sure that there's enough room for the bolts to get through it for the clearance of the shocks during cycling.